Greetings to you all today. It's good to come to you on this broadcast. It's good to uh, have Jesus Christ in our life and our Savior and our Lord. He died on the cross for us that we might have life everlasting. And thank the Lord for that wonderful sacrifice. If you're not saved today, give your heart to Jesus Christ because the time is really short. And we need to get ourselves ready to meet the Lord. I want to talk to you today about Hebrews 11, verse 1. And it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And by faith the elders obtained a good report. It goes on to that next chapter and says uh, things about uh, faith in different people. Of Abraham, uh, you know how he was sent, you know, to a place where he didn't know where he was going in Exodus 12 and 1. And uh, it was actually into Israel, actually before uh, Israel ever become a nation. You know, it's wonderful to know that God knows what, what's going on in our lives. It mentions Enoch that was translated. It goes on to mention several people in this 11th chapter that had faith. Abraham, you know, and he looked for a city that had foundations whose builder and maker was God. Uh, through faith, Sarah, you know, she gave birth to a child when she was 90 years old approximately. And it goes on to tell about how many people started to use their work for the work of God through faith. They used faith. I want to go back to the verse 1 now, 11 chapter verse 1. Now, faith. It's faith that's active in your life right now. Uh, one thing that Jesus mentioned was when he comes back to this world, will he find faith? And so we should have faith in God because things that we see are just temporary, but the things of God are really eternal. And uh, I want to say also, too, that uh, we have that substance or that, that uh, assurance that God is going to do something for whatever we have need of. Now, we don't know need, to, need to go off on some kind of tangent and do things and ask for things that are not sensible. But masking through prayer in the will of God, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. If you're trusting God for a situation in your life, just believe God today because he can meet every need that you have today. And another verse in this chapter, I want to finish by saying, Fight by faith ever when we was called into a place which he not received a heritage obeyed and went out and not knowing where he went. And one more scripture I want to share with you. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's Hebrews 11 and 6. What a great chapter. Have faith in God. Trust in God. He will meet every need. No matter what your need is, he'll meet your need if you'll just trust him. Thank you for tuning in today. This is Raymond Mayfield. Talk to you again.